Hey everyone. So today, all we're gonna try to do very quickly is show you the 1.75 inch bore cylinders. These are the production cylinders we're gonna have in about a month from now. So these are better because they don't have any interference with the latch. Uh, we're gonna get somewhere between 30 and 40% more gain. I'll show you that. I think by the math, it's something like 36%. Um, so I'm talking theoreticals. This is a very unscientific test. This has my Amazon crane scale, which I have no reason to believe isn't exactly right, but who knows. Um, we're using you know, a chain. We're, we're lifting off the front edge of the bucket here. So these numbers don't really, I think Tractor Time with Tim is probably the um, best known resource and probably uh, best trusted resource for true lift capacity. And his, his methodology, I think, is the most um, accurate. So, you know, for real world use, right? Um, we can throw numbers all we want, but, you know, what's it actually gonna lift when you, when you go out and, and try to use it, that's really the important part. So without further ado, let me, and I've already done this, but I'm just doing it for continuity. Uh, I, I made sure that the pressure is 2100 PSI at wide open throttle. It's something like 1900 PSI at 2500 uh, RPMs. That is what I tested the tractor at because those are very similar to factory specs. But um, let me go ahead and get that going, show that to you, and then we'll do this test, and we'll be done. The tractor is warmed up, by the way. Let's go to 2500. Maybe I got it. So just briefly, uh, and full disclosure, I did change the pump back to the uh, extreme capacity pump. Looks like uh, I was using a prototype pump, so you know who knows, there's nuances there. But with the prototype pump, I think we were getting more of a 1900-ish at around 2500 RPMs. I'll back this down just to try to make it apples to apples. Uh, I will comment again, this is not scientific at all. So. Uh, let me get this and just one other thing because of, you know, height does make a difference. Um, what I did is I went back because with the previous test, I was able to, to change the cylinders right here and, uh, and do the test without really moving the tractor. Um, I should have done some measurements. Of course I didn't, but what I did is I went back and looked at the video and counted the number of links between uh, the bucket and the um, the crane scale. And that's what is my somewhat scientific, make sure it's the same height, roughly. So, um, and not gonna use my GoPro and have side by side. We're gonna make this as quick and easy as possible. Good. Set up here. should always remove your pressure gauge if you want to lift something. Hang on. All right, pressure gauge removed. Let's see if we can actually lift now. I did have the 
bucket curl back, best I can tell. Just center this here. We will turn the peak back on. We're at zero. Let's see what we get. Let's go 20. Pretty centered. 1238. So the previous numbers were at 800 for um, the first measurement, and I'll put those on the screen. Uh, I guess it's 1900 psi, and then and then uh, wide open throttle was 920. This is 1238. So roughly 300, a little over 300. Is that right? No. 10, 11, 12. 30, yeah. So that's right at, right around that 30% mark. I'll put them on the screen <clears throat> and not embarrass myself by trying to do math while on camera. Um, that's it. That's all I wanted to do today. See what the numbers we got. I'll just recap factory connections, black nitride rod, 1.75. So for you, let's just look real quick because I know I have one over here. Don't judge my I don't know if you can tell the difference. Quite a bit of difference, size wise. But hope that's interesting. Questions, comments, leave them below. And again, that's a 2100 PSI. Actually, should I do a couple more? This is what happens. I tell you that I'm going to do a short video. It's never short. I think we have to see what 2,500 and maybe even more will do. Let me see what I can do here. Took the tire off. We're going to go and to stay in the vein of not scientific. I'm just going to do this 2,500 RPM. So I'm going to I'm going to adjust the pressure, 2,500 psi. This is what I recommend because the backhoe, if you have it is set to 2500 uh, 2500 psi for the uh, pressure relief valves here uh, and something I'll, <clears throat> I'll show later on is uh, and talk about is my theory of why John Deere has specs at 2100 you know 19 to 2100 or whatever uh, and it has to do with the pump so the limiting factor on this tractor I know even with my pump is the pump everything else that you talk about uh, these, you know, fittings are like 6,000. This is 3,000 or 3,250 burst pressure. And that's not burst pressure, that's a working pressure. It means every day, all day long, you can run that. Any of these lines, hard lines, like uh, here, one of these uh, is, is over 3,000. That's working pressure. Burst pressure is usually four times that. So, um, but I'll, I'll talk about and I'll show you why my pump ha actually has a working pressure of about 2100 with a with a max pressure of about 2800 so um, again my theory but we'll go through that in just a bit so let's see what this does though and I'm not even gonna put the tire on because we're gonna do 20 or we'll do 3000 next so. PSI. Let's put the loader back on and see what it does. Here we go. Just to be sure, let me clear this.
hard to tell if that's harder because I don't have a tire over here, but it is lifting the back off the ground over there. I've got the outrigger down. Let's see what we got. Ooh, 1606 at 2500. So, you know, at out, all the way out here, you know, not at the pin, 1600 out here. That's probably going to be most of what somebody wants to lift. Let's squat on the tires there. All right, let's do this one more time for 3000 just for fun. We'll see what happens. All right, last one. <clears throat> 3000. <laughs> scientific because It's almost 1,900 pounds, 3,000, eh, you know. Probably nobody wanting to lift something. Now, keep in mind, that's 1,900 pounds here. You're probably going to be able to get close to a ton off the ground, just off the ground at least. Um, do you want to do that? That is up to you. But I like to have the ability to do that, me personally, on occasion, if necessary. So that's it. That's 3,000 PSI uh, with 1.75 inch bore. That's going to be more than can hold the tail end of the ground. And that's really it's static. You know, you may see people, or you may have done this for yourself, be driving around and you get the back end off the ground, depending on how much ballast you have. Um, you know, if, if you pu push into something and then you back out, a lot of times your back tires come off the ground. But generally, this tractor won't lift the back end off the ground, uh, just in a static lift. And so at 3,000 PSI, it appears it will do that. Can't say I recommend it, but uh, now you kind of know where it stands. Almost 1,900 pounds at, that's probably 24 inches off the ground and at least probably 24 inches in front of the pen. So um, that's more than probably anybody would want to do much more than just scoot around with this tractor because you will uh, 
you will have a very high level of pucker factor most likely. So um, that's it. Hope this was interesting. It didn't turn out to be quick. Surprise, surprise. Um, but hope it is interesting. Questions, leave them below. Um, and more videos to come here shortly. Thanks for watching.